up, especially after kind of some of the uh, the losses that re have happened here recently? Winning always fires us up. You know, you're, you're trying to win every single game, and um, you know, I thought we did a great job of moving the ball, and, and we can't turn the ball over like that. Kind of a weird situation, but uh, the offense did a great job of answering back when we when we when we needed to. <laughs> on that 36-yard run, the whole situation with Cam Hayward. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I was just trying to score. You know, I I kind of did a little slow cutback, but uh, kind of tried to just find as much room as I could. And uh, the guys downfield did a great job blocking, so it was good to see a little bit of, of green grass for me. You think that was a dirty hit? Oh no, I, don't, I haven't really seen it. Um, you know, he, he's a tough player. Football's an emotional game. Uh, whatever happened, happened, and and you know, we'll, we'll shake hands and, and say good game after the game. That was probably one of the most. Uh, Wildest fourth quarters we've seen in some time. Forty-one points going up. What what was it like to, to be in that back and forth game, and then to come through on the last drive when you had to score a touchdown? It got a little too close for for sure. Uh, you know. As an offense, we had our spots, to our opportunities to go down and score and put the game away, and uh, we failed to do that. And, and so it got a little too close, but I thought the defense did a great job coming up with stops. Um, and, and for the offense to answer and to go put points up on the board, um, I thought that was a huge step for us. Did it fuel you at all when you, to see all those like terrible towels tonight and the Steelers fans? Did it fuel you? Uh, we didn't we didn't pay too much attention to it. You know, it's one of those things that here at SoFi, we love the way it is. And, uh, you know, the Char Chargers fans, they showed up. They showed out. They're loud. Uh, they were into the game the entire game. So, uh, you know, we've we've got so much respect for those guys that show up. Justin, a career high in rushing yards for you. I know just talking to Brandon, you said they were playing a lot of man and it sort of opened up for you. But just from your perspective, what allowed you to be that productive on the ground tonight? Yeah, you just got to convert, and whether it's by the ground or, or through the air, uh, if there are open rush lanes and guys are getting covered and, and no one's uh, playing defense on the quarterback, you have to kind of step up and find a way to get through the line. Uh, you know, I thought the line did a great job of protecting me and, and making sure those lanes were wide enough to run through. Is that something you were expecting heading into the game, that they were going to play a lot of split safety man, you were going to have an opportunity to, to you know, get out with your legs, or did it just sort of... It, it kind of just happened. Uh, you know, we, we've been watching a lot of film, and, and it has happened a couple times, but, you know, they're very sound fundamentally, and that's a really good defense, and, um, you know, we kind of just had to take whatever we could get, and that's a tough defense, and so for us to be able to do that, I thought it was big for us. Justin. Last year, if, if games like this, you guys would have blown, mm -hmm. and you guys would have ended up losing. What, what do you feel like has changed this season? And why do you feel like you guys are starting to win these games or uh, these close games? Uh, I think it's a mentality heading into the game and knowing that you've got the right guys. Uh, you've been through it in practice and you've experienced it. And we've gone through it a couple games so far this year of putting away games. And, uh, you know, I felt like we could have done a better job out there tonight. But uh, to, to be able to come back, bounce back um, after a couple of close losses, I, I think it's huge for us. What did I say about your team? Ground air. Coaches said you were the best player out there. Just what clicked for you personally and in the offense in general to get the rhythm? Was it the stage or what helped you guys? I think it all starts with the guys up front. Our offensive line has, has done a great job battling all year, and they gave me plenty of time to throw the ball today. And uh, to have those guys on the outside, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Jared Cook, Austin Eckler, those, those guys make plays, and, and they make my job so much easier. So all I have to do is get them the ball, and something good will happen. What does it mean for, for, for this team, especially when you guys have come from behind? To get the lead. What was different this week for you specifically in practice? Did you feel any different? Was there a different mind, obviously, attitude or the way you approached it in order for you guys to be successful here tonight? Nothing was different. We knew that going into the week, we just had to have a good week of preparation. We've got the right guys. We, we've got the right plan. We just had to execute. And, um, you know, the NFL is a, a tough league, and, and every game is going to come down to the wire. And it's all about how you handle adversity and how you bounce back. And uh, I, I thought we did a great job of answering that today. What's going through your mind in a critical play where you find your guy that wide open at the end of a game for a winning score like that? Just get him the ball. It's that's one of those things that you love to see. And, and Mike Williams, I, I told him to be ready on that route. And uh, we've kind of seen it all game and, and talked about it on the sideline. And, and to go out there and execute on the field, um, big time for us. How significant was this win tonight? Uh, I think every win is huge uh, for us to answer and. and play some good football offensively and defensively. Um, you know, I think it's a huge step up for us, and uh, it all becomes the next week. And looking forward to this next this game on Sunday and uh, have to have another good week of preparation so that you can uh, have any chance on Sunday. Justin, you said earlier in the game when you ran the same play that that corner was sinking out on that shorter route, which, you know, left Mike open. Were they... Were they bringing the slot blitz on those looks, or it was just even without the without the slot blitzing, they were still sitting trying to sit on that route there? I would have to look at it. Um, you know, I can't remember. I think it's just one of those routes where uh, we give Keenan the freedom of, of choosing inside or out, and uh, the corner sits, and it's a tough play to stop. And, and they sit, and uh, you find Mike late. Justin, you, you credited 
you know, being able to pull out some of these close games to the mentality of the team, some of the guys have in the locker room. How much of that is kind of a testament to the culture that Staley has kind of? I think it's a lot, a lot to do with that. And Coach Staley immediately, as as soon as he was hired here, he built relationships and he reached out to guys. And um, you know, he said this Chargers team, it, it can't be the same as it's been. And we have to be able to win these close games and to have those guys that they all believe. And I think it all starts with that. And uh, for those guys to come together, offensively, defensively, special teams, um, you know, when we come together, I think we can play some pretty good football. And for you to obviously like you're massively talented, but I mean like. For you to, how, how do you kind of be patient with your success? Well, like, how do you not kind of compart- compartmentalize, you know, having opportunities to push the ball downfield, taking what the defense gives you? How do you kind of compartmentalize all that? Yeah, it's a, it's a next play mentality. You know, success is never going to be a straight line to the top. You're going to have your ups and your downs, and adversity is going to happen. And, um, you know, we, we've certainly faced that over the past couple of years, and uh, I think we've done a great job of answering. And we're not always perfect. We, we don't always win, and, and there are definitely things that we need to clean up from this game. But uh, to be able to keep growing, um, keep developing, uh, I think that's what's important for us. Austin's one of the better uh, all-around backs in the game, maybe underrated, but to see your teammate get four touchdowns, What's it like to see that happen for him? To, to be able to do that in the NFL, it's it's not easy. And, and for him, we, we know how special and how gifted he is. And we see it during practice all week. And just giving him the opportunity to go make someone miss, miss uh, you know, that's a great option for us. And we've done such a great job of getting him the ball and finding ways to get him the ball because something good will happen with him. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.